Hello, the Madra here. We're back. It's Dolores. It's 2279 at present, and we're just looking for terraforming possibilities. Um, anything where it's just mainly my population, I'd like to do, but I've got a lot of like weird little planets of different pops. We do have some algers here in this arid world, which is surprising. Yeah, like we've actually got a couple algers. What's their um what's their habitability for continental? Not good. Not good. But most of them would probably die. How long does one have to place the Dolores before it starts flowing naturally and doesn't feel overwhelming, asks Uncle BB. You know, I would say not too long. It's it's nice and easy. It's it's always a little overwhelming. Yes, a great with staff. It is always like because there's always something going on, right? You're always having to think about something and do something and be aware of something. But it's not really that stressful because the game does kind of take its time to get there, right? It's honestly not that bad. I found it probably one of the easier uh, games to to understand from Paradox's catalog, I think. Ooh, okay. So in terms of planet usage, we're doing pretty well. So my cap really does want to upgrade. I don't want to waste all these. Got a job going spare. I do have a job going spare. Uh, I guess I could just chuck it in that, but. The Chateau Ruffles Boris is pretty solid. It is. It's actually really, really good. Yeah, it is Finnegan. I agree 100%. It's, it's a pretty good Chateau. I'd say it's probably their be most accessible game, I think. Uh, but like any Paradox game, or really any game that has any kind of intriguing qualities to it, it takes a little while to get to it, you know? Get to really understand it. Oh man, look at that trade value investments bringing me. That's the real stuff. Okay, these guys need housing. Pheromone, third stage. Oh my god. Yeah, I was thinking I turned this into like a bureaucratic center. some freaking alloys together yo let's go yeah all right let's terraform this we're gonna terraform it into a continental world <laughs> screw you initiating communications and yeah there you go up one of these ah oh, it's gonna cost me a lot of moats so i might just keep going with this establish embassy from the Sirgog league of planets uh fine i guess I mean, come on in. All right. They are belligerent, but... Let's see if they vote yes. What's your favorite Stellaris strat? I, I don't know, man. It, it's pretty... It's just what it is. You just kind of play with it. You just got to keep going. You want pop growth. You want as many expansion possibilities as possible. Oh, our American governors can do somewhat awkward effective interaction. The council in charge lays secure the loyalty of a faction of an armed forces. They prefer staying indoors to breathing in the pollen. The remote government wishes to use these troops to mount offensive on the flower. It's strictly controlled. Okay. Okay, we have Federation offer. Looks like they have one more thing we can vote for, which is to repeal buzzword sanitation, and that's a no. I wouldn't say it's unique every time. Yeah, it stays fresh, yeah, because of the number of events and archaeological things and the number of different ways to play, I think, are really great. You know, you could play a kind of human-y one, which is really, really fun. Um, it's really, really, you know, kind of human-y, xenophilic and stuff like that, uh, which I'm playing now, kind of an empire building. And Or you could go, like, really crazy. And another playthrough I'm playing on my own, I'm playing um, as a inward perfectionist, and I'm trying to pivot away from pacifist to militarist so I can then become the crisis, which I think is really fun. Uh, and then destroy the galaxy. Or you could be a ring world star or whatever. Um, what the hell am I doing? Oh my god, look how strong these are! What? That's crazy. Okay. Where am I and who am I, do who am I doing? I am trying to see if I can get these chaps to join us. They will not join a federation with the Wasengi Star League. Bro, why not? Yo, chill. Why will you not chill? You don't want a commercial pact because they are hegemonic imperialists. Okay. Okay, so I'm already getting two dudes to improve relations, which is helpful. And I also have a spy network in the Lorengo Polity. 
And he's all right. So I think we should try and steal some tech. He hates us. He only does a room where... Hey, what's up, Octavia? How you doing? And you got the precursor and then give him another room where... Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay, we're glad to have this opportunity. Okay, so they are now a member of an associate... They're a Federation Association, which means they're pretty chill. Right? But unfortunately... Oh, they would join us. Yes! Okay, so we just have to get them to like us enough and we can invite them. Yes, that'll be great. That would be fantastic. Yes. That would add us a really, really strong federation. Starbase capacity increase. Boom. The command limit. Claim influence cost. Yes. Once that's done, I can start claiming these guys. It's only seven years till the wars begin again. Exciting stuff. Ooh, that's a mining world right there. Oh. You know, terraform this bad boy. Pretty expensive, but I have a lot of minerals to sell. I have many things to sell. Ooh, it's got a rare feature. Metal bone yards. Oh, that's... Terraform. And then we'll colonize it. Let's go. Give him a present. Nuzzle his many necks. Oh yeah, there we go. That's a lot of necks. Just some nuzzling. We're improving relations very gradually with some extra envoys. I'm trying to keep an eye on the amount of diplomatic weight I have, and luckily I am pretty ahead. And my secondary one is actually the Sirgog. So if we could be together and united, I could basically guarantee that I will be in command. Oh god, we're out of food. Jesus. What happened there, dude? Complete. Guys, what the f what the heck? Where's my food? Where's my food world? Where is it? Nourishment. What's going on here? Come on. You gotta prioritize the food, dude. All right. What the heck? Construction. Let's get some luxury goods to get some stuff in there. There you go. None of that, thank you. Construction. And this, I guess we will just keep going with... You get some more unity, maybe. Yeah, let's get some culture worker jobs. Why not? That. Okay, so now we need to make a decision. What do we want to go for? We could go for something like domination. Uh, maybe. Or prosperity to just try and get even more value. There's a lot of spinning plates. There are, yeah. Um, I mean, prosperity's great. Once you get it all, you do get extra merchant jobs for 50 pops, which is very useful. So it does kind of cater towards a more late mid game. Buildings become cheaper. That just saves minerals. More housing. It's great, but I don't need it right now. Harmony is great for reducing food. Just adopting it reduces food usage, which is great. A uh, little bit of gathering ethics and stability and defensive wars. Not great for me, I'd say. But supremacy is just full on murder. Right, ship build cost, ship expansion. I think it's going to be supremacy for me, because I'm going to do some wars. And we're working towards telepathy and such. We'll see how that goes. It's, it's, it's real time, but I can pause whenever I like, you know? Uh, oh, I'm not connected to the trade network, so... Boop. Okay. Bring that to the star hold so we can start to get some trade systems right there. Our operatives are running. Blah, blah, blah. Just commence when ready. Yeah, you can pause. I do pause a lot, to be honest. Oh, God. I'm currently terraforming two different planets. I hadn't even realized. Technology discovered. Okay. Claim influence cost reduction. Doop -doop -doop -doop. Naval capacity. Society. Flat society research could be good. Let's go faction influence gain, and I need more influence. Construction complete. Playing usually play as human. I I am drawn towards playing as human. I think I'm just a pleb. Okay, so brilliance currently has very low stability. Why is this? Oh, it's because their pops are weird. 
Gross. Let's let's terraform this thing. Um and in the meantime, we will distribute luxury goods. And add a city deal. So much terraforming. Uh calling development speed, X-ray laser X-ray laser. The game would settle on my brain easier if I did a human run. Yeah, do it. Always start as humans, I think. No! No, 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 what are you doing? Why are you doing that? What's up? Oh, why'd you end it? They ended it. No. Why? Oh, we'll not associate with those thinking starly. Dude, stop. <laughs> why are you like this? Why, uh... oh, man, they're gonna be all pissed off. Okay, one thing we could do is maybe we could start putting an espionage guy in here, and I don't know. You can do some interestingly weird stuff, but word favors. Let's go. Give me that. Yeah, I'm kind of spending all of my energy credits on stuff. I need to kind of work on that. And that's probably why I'm... Okay. Well, we'll sit quietly for a little while. Let's start building some cruisers. Uh, ship designer. We have the probe and the feeler. And we're going to call this one the toucher. M and S. I always like to say what the ships are so I don't freaking forget. So we're just going to go for lots of medium slots with a couple S's so that they can actually still do some damage. And I'll make it miscellaneous with line autocomplete. Great. Yeah, they start building cruisers. You bet, man. Yeah, I always like to name ships so I know exactly what they are in future, so I don't have to spend time going, what did what is this? And I will just add Okay, so they're very expensive, but I can I can afford about I'll put four cruisers in this. There we go. I don't really think I need much more. Um The other thing is I should really have a destroyer point defense. Uh, not and these basically shoot down missiles if you weren't aware this shoots down swarmers and this shoots down specific missiles I'm gonna do that And I will put these guys on Do I want to put them on picket? I guess picket yeah There you go And these guys are just gonna be called picket I could activate the psionic archive, but I don't really see a reason to. My fleet's going to be very strong. And I'm going to add just like two pickets. And that should be sufficient, although this is now starting to cause me some slight worries. Works to my energy utilization. But we can grab this trade hub, which is good. We're just going to be looking for any missing trade. So there's some missing trade right there, so we're going to put a single trade hub to pick that up. Oh, oh, look at that. There's five, there's five energy right here. What the heck? What are you doing, dude? I got energy just sticking, doing nothing. Come on. Always a good idea. You never know when you've missed some. So there's some up there, but I don't have a star base, and I don't feel like building a whole new one just for that. It won't be worth it. There is some here. And this base is getting it. One, two. I would need four trade bases to get this. And it's always better to stick it together because the overall trading company is two value per hub. So we're going to build two more. Technology nice. Discovered. Faction influence gain. Hypercoms forum pass. Let's get pop growth speed so we can try and get a little bit faster pop growth, please. 
running out over here. Yeah, see, we're already getting kind of low on minerals because of how much um, alloys we're having to make. Come on, guys. Why are you so pissed off? Don't be like this. Why is your happiness so low? Very low faction approval. Manifest party. Oh my god, they're so low. And 58 pops. Oh my god, 58. 58 pops for a stupid faction. Okay, it's so stupid. Unrestricted. You literally can't do anything about this. Oh man. What? Uh. Keep, produ keep consumer goods production in deficit. Free what they call the ready made scourge. Head in the clouds. Silent partner with political demand player and refuse to deploy it. Engaging in staring contests instead of envoys. A manifest party are keen for military vessels to be granted sapiens. What the heck? I hate this party. Why did I allow this? I hate you. What the heck, dude? You suck. Ugh. Yeah, hush descends. Okay, they might just disappear. Oh my god. Rotarians get the option to kill the movements. Apparently they just leave eventually. Oh, I don't know. I like the I like mostly like the factions. Complete. Sometimes you need to kinda of get a little bit more. So you find in any tomb world will piss them off. Having spiritualist values. Failing to outlaw the profanity that is thinking machines. Okay, I might do that one and just outlaw outlaw them. Wait, empty shells. Allow the place of organic words. We want to just basically outlaw machines. Beast and three admiral thought. Lyoth and Slayer. Conquest. All right, cool. Let's do that. Let's just uh, outlaw robots. They do make things very interesting. I think they just—they just turn everything into a more of an interesting experience. Robotic workers not allowed. Out of legends, servitude. Machines now illegal. And we want to failing to outlaw the profanity. This thinking machines will displease them. So they, we want to get rid of their ability to exist. Artificial intelligence, servitude, outlawed. There you go. Okay, now they're a little bit happier, I guess. Maybe. Hey, thanks for the follow, Uncle BB. I appreciate that. Oh my god. The food. I'm dying here. Sell some alloys, I think. Oh, I spent all my energy credits on that. That was really dumb. Okay, so I do have plenty of minerals, which is good. Wondering if maybe we should try and get some crime detailing here. Well, it's being dealt with. Okay, drilling a hole. A large structure of some kind occupies it, and they're drilling it. Good stuff. Technology discovered. And there's star bases. Civilian fabricators from more consumers. The crystals. I mean, I guess. Let's go for mining station outputs so we can get some more. You help make my star spring big. Oh, I'm happy to hear that, buddy. Why are you wary? Stop sucking. Empire's claims border friction. There's no border friction. Go away. All right, we're still getting nice and strong, which is great. Independence guaranteed. The Hadashi C Commerce Guild will now guarantee the independence of the Sidron caretakers. Okay, I don't care. Technology discovered. Upgrade speed increase. Civic slots. Society research. Okay, let's get civic slots. Complete. And I think it's almost time for this war to begin. Oh, 
Oh yeah. 87. Lorango research secured. A hey, deep crust engineering. Thank you. Appreciate that. Keeping an eye on these myriad construction ships that we have dicking around. That's all that X. Upgrade these guys. <coughs> Why do we not have enough food? Pick up this plan is. We're not prioritized. It's because there's not enough workers. Damn it. Alright. Guess because we have a lot of culture workers, don't we? Alright. The amenities and pop growth is pretty good. It does. We do get pops a little bit faster. Alright, and that's it for the episode. Make sure to leave a like and comment in the video, and I hope to see you in the very next one. I was Azure on the TV, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.